Okay, um, this week we will discuss on the AC analysis of a BJT amplifier circuit. So, uh, this slide show the this show the amplifier circuit. Okay, amplifier circuit uh, consists of BJT, and then uh, at the input we have the the signal source, the input source, and then we have the output here. Okay, so the amplifier circuit. The actual amplifier circuit is uh, the one in the the big the big box here. So this is the amplifier circuit. So the amplifier circuit actually uh, uh, is the a BJT uh, connected in a bias circuit. So the bias circuit is uh, used in order to enable the BJT to to be in active operating region so that the BJT can amplify the signal properly. Okay, so um, okay, and in the pre in the last week we have discussed on how we can determine or how we can calculate the operating point or the Q point of the BJT, which is the collector current, the value of collector current, and the value of collector emitter volt voltage VCE okay um, in this week so we will see we will uh, examine or we will analyze the performance of the ampli amplifier circuit uh, to be specified we will uh, analyze on how how good the the amplifier circuit as the amplifier to amplify the circuit just to amplify the signal so, uh, in terms of the amplification process, so ideally we want to have a very big uh, volt, uh, the gain. So it means that the the resulted in uh, voltage signal output voltage signal must be uh, much higher than the input signal. So we have we um, expect the amplifier to have a, a satisfactory value of gain. Okay, so uh, actually the AC analysis of the amplifier circuit is related to what we have discussed in general model of amplifier. So in general model amplifier, so we have many parameters that we consider. Uh, one of them uh, is input impedance and then we have the output impedance and then we also have the open circuit gain. So the open circuit gain of the amplifier circuit will determine how much the output with respect to the input signal. Okay, so in order for, for us to analyze the uh, BJT amplifier circuit, we need to replace the BJT with a appropriate uh, device model. Okay, so um, actually the device model in general, is a circuit element that approximate the behavior of a certain device, or the circuit element or the device that can imitate the operation of the certain device. So uh, here, we use the device model of the BJT uh, specifically in the operation of AC signal. Okay. In general, there are two models commonly used in uh, small signal AC analysis of the transistor. So one is RE model, and the second one is hybrid pi equivalent model. So in this class, we will exclusively use hybrid pi equivalent model for our analysis. So the hybrid pi model is is quite useful for analysis of high frequency transistor, and then at lower frequency, the hybrid pi model can closely approximate it. To the RE model. Okay, what is hybrid pi model? So the left hand side uh, diagram or figures is the symbol of BJT. So BJT has uh, three terminal. We have base, collector, and emitter. So uh, in general, uh, we 
consider the base terminal as the input terminal and the collector terminal as the output terminal. So, and the collector current will be the output and then the base current will be the input. But for the hybrid pi model, instead of uh, considering the base current, so we're not considering the base current, so we will use the term voltage, voltage between base and emitter. So V pi is a uh, the voltage at base emitter terminals. Um, so, so this uh, you need to be take note that this V pi, the V pi is not the same as what we have used as a VBE in the DC analysis. In the DC analysis, the, the value of VBE is a fixed voltage, but here in AC analysis, we consider the VB, V pi as a voltage that fluctuate, fluctuates or keep changing according to the input signal. So according to the input signal. So V pi will be a variable rather than a fixed value uh, uh, such as a VBE. So take note that VBI, V pi is not equal to is not equal to 0 0.7. Okay, so uh, this is the hybrid pi model. So between base and emitter junction. So uh, in active region, active operating region, the base emitter junction is in forward bias. And then uh, at forward bias, there will be uh, uh, what we call it uh, internal resistance. Although it is uh, in ideal model of the in ideal model of the diode or PN junction, the forward bias PN junction can be modeled as a short circuit, but actually we need to consider the internal resistance. So internal resistance between base and emitter is represented by the R pi. Okay, R pi eh? between the R pi. And then uh, the base current, so we have it here the base current. So uh, we cons we uh, consider a voltage across R pi as a V pi. So the V pi is actually equal to the I B R pi. Okay, this is between base and emitter. Okay, between emitter and the collector. So uh, we will have a dependent uh, current source. We have this dependent current source. Dependent current source to uh, to represent the relationship between I C here. This is I C and I B. I C and I B. Okay. So uh, so in this uh, model, you can see the collector current is uh, uh, depend on the value of V pi. So uh, this is where you can see that the co the collector current is controlled by the base emitter voltage. Okay. So since this is uh, if you see this model. This is uh, the amplifier model here. It's called a transconductance model because the input, sorry, the output is current and then the input is voltage. So this is uh, can be categorized as a transconductance amplifier model. So the gain here, this is the gain, is a transconductance, GM. Okay. And then in parallel with the uh, dependent current source, we have small R node. Small R node is uh, is called output resistant. It's called output resistant. Okay, ideally, this small R node is uh, very very large or infinity. The value is infinity, and then we can remove the small R node because this this small R node can be replaced by the open circuit. Okay, this is how we can calculate uh, the transconductance R pi and R node. Okay, transconductance is, 
given by this equation IC over VT. The VT is temperature equivalent voltage. So at uh, VT will become 26 millivolt. This is at room temperature or 300 Kelvin. So uh, in our uh, course, we will uh, mostly we will consider the operation at room temperature. So the VT will be fixed at 26 millivolt. Okay. In order to in order for us to calculate the GM, so you need to know the collector current. So the collector current here is the uh, current at the Q point. So this means that whenever you want to do the AC analysis. You need to make sure that you have information on the uh, Q point or DC analysis. Okay. In terms of uh, S4 R pi, R pi is defined by this equation. So R pi is equal to beta over GM. So beta here is a DC gain. So this is a DC gain. Uh, for the output resistance, output resistance is defined by uh, VA over IC. So what is VA? VA is early voltage. So this is the voltage value depend on the device characteristic. And the value is very large. Usually VA is quite large. And then um, so that the R0 also become very large. So that's why in most cases we will assume R0 as equal to infinity. So, and then we will not consider the R0. Okay, this is uh, this slide show the difference between NTN transistor and TNT transistor. Okay, the difference is the V pi polarity and current source direction. So, a part of that almost the same. So, uh, why this is the same? This is uh, become like this because if you compare the symbol, the direction current, sorry, current direction between uh, NTN and TNT. Okay, so if you, uh, this is the, this is NTN and this is uh, PNT. So for NTN, the emitter current is exiting, so towards downward, and then the collector current, base current is entering. So this is IC and this is IB. So here the base current will towards the emitter, so this is IB. Collector current also towards the emitter, IC. Emitter will exit, so this is IE. So that's why the GM, the current direction for the current source is facing uh, towards downward. For the VPI, because of the IB is uh, flow downward, so VPI will become, the positive of VPI will become at up, up, at this up point, upper point, and this one is negative here. So this will uh, consistent with the uh, direction of the base current. Okay, but as for PNP, the emitter current is entering the transistor and while the collector and base current is exiting the transistor. So we can hit, uh, have here, this is emitter current entering. So we have here collector current exiting. So this is uh, consistent as well as the base current also exiting. So the current in general should flow from the high level, high potential to the low potential. So that's why the V pi, the quality of V pi become like this. Okay, so when we use the uh, amplifier BKT in amplifier circuit, we can have uh, three main configuration, three, three main circuit configurations. So the first one is common emitter. And we, should, we can have common collector, we can have common base. So how we can identify the common emitter? Uh, how we can identify a common emitter is we see the terminal of the BJT. Let's say if the base and collector are connected to the output 
in and the out input of the amplifier so it means that there will be one terminal that is unused there will be one unused terminal which is a emitter so emitter will not be used either as a sorry neither as the output or nor the input so emitter is the common terminal so this is we call it common emitter okay for example if a uh, common base common base means that uh, emitter and collector are used as the input and output port for common collector means that base and the emitter used as the input and output port 